One of the best things about Wisconsin? The seasons. Today, we're showing you four different sides of Menominee as we make our way around the sun. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. This city brings the excitement of a college town and the charm of the Northwoods together. It's fun, it's eclectic, it's beautiful, and it's all year long. It's Menominee. Menominee is located in Dunn County, 25 miles west of Eau Claire and just 70 miles east of the Twin Cities. I don't know about you, but when I think of Wisconsin summers, I think up north. And when I think of up north, I think supper clubs. Well, here in Menominee, you can have them both. Jake's Supper Club is located about five miles north of Menominee. We're known for our prime rib, Friday fish fry, great happy hour. It's kind of the local area for everyone in Tainer Lake and Menominee. Jake's is your quintessential old school supper club. Big steaks, big drinks, and it's where people go to have a good time. I don't know if you know this, but Wisconsin invented a little sport called water cross. Which involves taking a snowmobile out of winter, bringing it into summer, and racing it on the open water. And yes, it's as crazy as it sounds. Hosted by the Menominee Lions Club, the Lake Minoman Watercross event takes place the last weekend in June every year. So we start dead stop right on the edge of the water. It takes a lot of power to get you up on the water, but as long as you stay above 30 miles an hour, you'll stay on top of the water. So this is a drag race that, that we're yep. seeing right here. Yep. So the actual race ends at the buoy. At the buoy. Yep. So what happens if or when one sinks? So we have a retriever that goes out and gets them. Okay. And they just pick them up with the pontoon, bring it back to the pits, mm -hmm. and we drive the motors out and put new gas in them and fire them off. Go out and ride Go them out again. again. Yep. Okay. It takes about 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. It's really cool. You see a lot of kids here with their parents literally an event for everyone. My father's been racing since early 90s, so I kind of grew up around it. It's just a lot of camaraderie, it's a lot of fun, very family-based sport. If you've never seen it before, I got nothing but encouragement for you to come and join us. It's a lot of fun. There's nothing bad about a weekend of water cross. I love loud, fast things, and Menominee knows a thing or two about loud engines and fast machines. It's a huge adrenaline rush. It goes by so quick out there. You're just, you're thinking, okay, next corner, you gotta hit your marks, where to hit your brakes, where to hit the throttle, who's beside you. I don't know, it's a rush you can't explain. Red Cedar Speedway, a one-third mile semi-banked clay oval track is the place to be on a Friday night in the summertime. How does one get into dirt track racing? My family has been in racing since the 50s. Oh, wow. So okay. my grandparents and then my dad, my cousins, my uncles, and now my brothers and us, we all race. What is it about this track that you find pretty special? Just the history. I mean, this, this track was built in the 70s by a bunch of farmers and locals that put all their time and effort into building this track. I think it's a great family sport. Mm. Why? The people that you meet around the racetracks, they all share the same passion that everybody does that races, so you all get along. It's like a big family. Yeah, and it seems like a really good spectator experience. I mean, they're, the stands are right up here on the track. They are. I remember going up there when I was a kid. It was a lot of fun. It was, was our it? weekend routine to come and watch the races. That's awesome. I was sitting right on the straightaway at the end of turn four, so to see them like literally cross the finish line at the very end was so cool, so exciting. 
you better be prepared for a noisy environment. You're gonna get a little bit dirty, but just that energy, the excitement in the air is so palpable. If you really want to experience Menominee and what it's all about, this is such an iconic part of this city. Plan your adventures in every corner of our state by watching Discover Wisconsin anytime, anywhere. Binge episodes on Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Roku, Chromecast, and Smart TV. Don't go anywhere, because when we come back, it's fall in Menominee. Discover Wisconsin is back, exploring the city of Menominee. Fall in Menominee. The air is crisp, trees pop with gorgeous shades of yellow, orange, and red, and one by one, the leaves begin to fall. It's also back to school time for students attending UW Stout. Stout was founded in 1891 by James Huff Stout, co-owner of a local lumber company. It's the only university in the UW system that's named after its founder rather than the city it's in. Chancellor, we've got a beautiful day here in Menominee oh, on Stout's campus. Oh, it's perfect, isn't it? It seems like a buzzing, buzzing campus right now this it autumn. It is. Students are here in full force. It's great. Tell me why students come to Stout. One of the big reasons is our 98.7% placement rate. Within six months after graduation, 98.7% of our students are either in jobs or in continuing education. And that's really one of the hallmarks of Stout. We have 50 different undergraduate majors and 23 graduate majors. So there's really a wide range of things to meet student interests. Tell me a little bit about how Stout fits into Menominee and how Menominee fits into Stout. Sure. Well, as you can see by the campus, we're right in the middle of Menominee, so there's a very close connection. We're also engaged in many community events, and many of the things that happen on campus are available to the community. So for example, two weeks ago we had homecoming, and that's very much both campus and community event. Menominee is really a very welcoming, caring community. There's a lot of opportunities to do things in the community, both in terms of outdoor recreation and other kinds of things that I think really help students get a flavor of both the classroom and life outside the classroom. At UW-Stout, students can take advantage of the abundant recreational amenities and opportunities available in Menominee. And with over 150 student organizations, there's something for everyone. Menominee is great for disc golf. We have five courses here in the town, and it's really becoming a, a growing trend, not only in Menominee, in Eau Claire, the surrounding areas. Disc golf is just the fastest growing sport in the world right now, and we're just trying to keep up with it here in Menominee and provide people great courses to come out and play. I was really excited to come disc golfing today because the courses are absolutely beautiful. My technique and skill uh, leaves a lot to be desired, but I had a lot of fun with the company and the places that we were at. We're here at Wakanda Park. This course is probably the more popular course here in Menominee. A lot of variety here. You go in and out of the woods. We go along uh, Lake Minoman. Technical shots, easy shots. Got the whole mix here. The other course is Lambs Creek course. We have a variety of shots that go over the water, over bridges. You're always trying to stay dry on that course, but people just love it. This is maybe the most beautiful disc golf course I've ever seen. I was rusty to start today. Ryan was very patient, but then by the end, uh, he gave me a special disc that he said had a bit of a wiggle, which is good, because I think I have kind of a hook when I toss normally. So this one, right above this creek here, went nice, straight, and true, and I was one of the only guys to keep it dry. What I really love about disc golf is just getting outside. I, I think everyone should give the sport a try just to get out and walk. Each round you play of disc golf is a mile plus that you're walking up and down hills, through the woods. It's just a great way to get outside and enjoy nature. Another great way to get your steps in here in Menominee, shopping. And while you can enjoy the many downtown shops, galleries, and boutiques any time of year, the city makes it extra fun in the fall with a Halloween-themed ladies' night out event. I just love the different activities they do. I love seeing how people are dressed up and just see what stores have, see the maybe the latest and greatest things in the stores and just do a little window shopping and there's always some nice specials too. Me and my daughter try to make it every time they have this. It's fun dressing up and check out all the cool things and all the little stores they have around downtown Menominee. Head to discoverwisconsin.com for all you need to start planning your own trip to Menominee. And stay tuned, because up next, Mariah's bundling up to see what Menominee's got going on in the wintertime. 
Welcome back to Menominee, here on Discover Wisconsin. When you think of winter sports in Wisconsin, a lot of people go right to snowmobiling and skiing. But I decided to try something a little different here at Whispering Emerald Ridge Game Farm. Five stand is you stand in five spots. That's how I got his name, Five Stand. And it's like sporting clay targets. We have nine throwers on this course. A lot of them have less, but we like to have more variation. You will stand in a window that opens up, and you're inside, you shoot at the targets outside. Shooting Five Stand was really fun and such an adrenaline rush. It took a few tries, but with some tips from Bruce, I was finally starting to get the hang of it. The lodge at the game farm is decked out with Northwoods decor. The scenery is gorgeous and the area where you shoot from is heated. So even in the dead of winter, you're staying warm. Shooting five stand is a great activity to do with groups and it's just a fun opportunity to try something new if you've never done it before. With Lake Menomen so close to the city, Menominee is also a popular destination for ice fishing. Ice fishing is a great sport in that everyone can do it. You don't need a boat. You can walk out. You don't need a ton of equipment. It's open to everybody. It's easy to do. Menominee is a community that loves fishermen. It's based on a lake. Uh, just fun to come. Not a fan of being outside when the temps drop? Spend an evening inside at Menominee's crown jewel, the Mabel Tainter. I'm fascinated by historic theaters. I honestly could just come in here and sit and stare at the decor without even a production going on. And this place, I've never seen anything like it. The craftsmanship of this building is amazing. Yeah. It was built in 1889. And today, let's fast forward 130 years. Yes. <laughs> What's the Mabel Tainter like today? The Mabel Tainter is really the center of Menominee. Uh, we are an economic engine that provides entertainment and uh, places for people to come and meet, host dinners, host business meetings, have weddings, and we host over 50 events a year. Anything else that you want to share that personally fascinates you and your role here with the Mabel Tainter? I, I think for me, it's how passionate Menominee residents are about this theater. They have tremendous ownership of this building and what it means to them. And, and they volunteer, they act, they participate as patrons. The Mabel represents the integrity of Menominee itself. It's a building that was created to last generations and people really tie to it as a symbol of being a resident of Menominee. Yeah. Follow Discover Wisconsin on Instagram to see behind the scenes photos and stories from our productions. And don't go away. Coming up, the snow is melting and spring is in the air here in Menominee. We're back in Menominee here on Discover Wisconsin. Winters in Wisconsin can be long, but when spring does finally come, it's that much sweeter. The trees start to bud, the ground begins to thaw, and here in Menominee, a new season brings forth new life. Govan's Farm is a lot of things. Right now in March and April, it's a farm baby farm. And all the folks that you can see in the background, they're here to enjoy spring and to welcome all the new births that we have going on in the barn. It's a family farm. We've got two grown children that come and help when they can. It is a beautiful day in March right now, and holy moly, there's just stuff to see everywhere. I got to hold a pig, I got to hold a sheep, got to hold a goat, I held a baby chick. I, I, I don't know that I've actually held a baby chick before. I would say this is one of the more authentic and integrated farms that I've been to where you really are seeing actual things happening in real time. This is the cutest lamb I've found. Uh, the lamb fell asleep in my lap. It's kind of like somewhere between a hot water bottle with a wool cover, but it has a heartbeat. It's super cute, super cute. I love taking the time to talk to the customers and to answer their questions. When I was a child, we were about three generations removed from agriculture. 
Today that stands at five, and I'll bet it's closer to six generations removed from farming. So it gives people an opportunity to come to a working farm and to learn something about agriculture and hopefully take home a new respect for it. Of course, when things start to turn green, there's no better place to be than on the greens. There are four golf courses in the Menominee area for varying abilities, including the 18-hole, 187-acre Tanglewood Greens. Tanglewood Greens, you can see the beauty. It's just fantastic. And uh, you got the lakes, you got the hills, the trees. Of course, it's well kept. The people are friendly. It's a beautiful spot. I've just told my friend the other day, I said, I've played here since 1980, and I never get bored out here because the greens are so undulating. You can never get used to having the same old putt or the same old chip shot all the time. I never get bored playing golf out here. Spring is also the perfect time to get out of the house and discover new and interesting places. Breweries are some of my favorite places to hang out in all of Wisconsin. A brewery really brings people together. And I love the idea that on a Saturday afternoon, you can find a place that's vibrant like this, filled with people, your neighbors, your friends, to come and share a beverage together. Well, John, cheers. Cheers. Mm. So Zymergy Brewing Company. Tell me, what does Zymergy mean? Zymergy is the study of fermentation, but we say it's the magic of fermentation around here. Okay, <laughs> nice, good stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the last time I was here in Menominee, there was one brewery. Now yeah. there's three. Tell me about the brewery movement here in Menominee. Yeah, so we have Lucette, we have us, Symergy, and then we have Brewery Nonic, the new one. And it's just happening naturally, becoming like a destination for sure. Tell me about your brewing philosophy. I like to be traditional, but I also like to throw the kitchen sink at it sometimes. I do love my German white beers. I'm from Milwaukee, and German white beers are on tap everywhere down there. Our best seller would be Sherlock, which is named after my old cat. I had a cat for about 17 years, so now he lives on in beer form. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Sherlock is this one right here. This is an English light ale. We'll see how it tastes. Oh, it's got a good aroma to it. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. It's very nice and drinkable. Kind of sweet cereal end of things, but uh, kind of the richness of an ale that you would expect. So this place has a really good vibe. Can you tell me a bit about the atmosphere that you're trying to create? First thing is it's dog friendly. So there'll be times where we'll have four dogs running around here, which is awesome. Stout is right behind us, just a few blocks. So we're really close to downtown. It's a good vibe around here. I kind of like it. This town is full of good vibes. Menominee can be zingy or chill. It's delicious, historic, and even unpredictable. And four vastly different seasons means four times the fun. This is Menominee. Stream Discover Wisconsin anywhere, anytime. Continue the adventure on Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Roku, Smart TV, Chromecast, and discoverwisconsin.com.